والله Allah will welcome us honorably. Allah will receive us joyfully. Allah say inna al-munafikina wal munafikat. Allah say ba'duhum awli abad. The hypocrites, men and female, man and woman among them, from one of the group of their meeting, they are doing their discussions, they are gathering, they are partying. To another one, what is their character? Allah is telling us the secret. They encourage evil. They encourage what goes against the words of Allah. When they are on the and they deprive people, they deprive people from what is good. They discourage people to go away from Allah. That malam, who will go and pray there? Who will listen to him? So they are always criticizing here and there. That scholar, who will go and pray to there? When you go there now, you just be saying this, be saying that, as if he's the only malam, as if he's the only scholar. That are the most, I will not go there and pray. That are neighbor, a neighbor mosque, they, they, they do preaching there. Person come to pray, they say preaching, preaching, preaching. How will your life be successful without preaching? In the right from the Genesis, the first thing that Allah told Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi to do is to start with preaching, telling people of what they don't know. Millions of people have accepted Islam because of preaching. Millions. You are born and brought up Islam. You hate your religion like, like a sheet of fowl. But you see many Christians, many pastors, many reverends who have seen the reality in Islam. The entire church convert to Islam. But you, as a Muslim, you will be gossiping against your religion here and there. What are you doing to yourself? Allah said, don't you think? In the Quran. Ya'muruna wa yana'una anil ma'ruf. They encourage evil, they are more able to get away from the animal. They encourage evil and deprive people from what is right. Anytime they hear the words of Allah, in fact, it will be in form of somebody has, you know, create an anger in their mind. If the words of Allah is a human being, by now, the people are killing it. Are they in the words of Allah? It's human beings, people are seeing like this. Whatever it will take them to, to make sure they quit him from the surface of the earth, they will have quitted him for a very long time. Because people, they hate truth. And truth, according to the Quran, truth is the words of Allah. <laughs> فَاتَّبِعُوا مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ أَنِيفًا وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Your Lord is speaking to you. This is the truth of Allah. This is the true ways from Allah. Follow the millers, the ways of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam. وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ This Prophet Ibrahim, who was he? Who was he? Allah said, he is not among the idolaters. Allah testified for Abraham. Allah said, this is the truth that comes from your Lord. This is the truth of, the, of your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Follow the ways of Abraham. The father of Ishmael. Omar Khan Amin al is is not among the idol worshippers. Allah testified for Abraham in the Quran. And Allah encouraged us to follow the mirror of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That he sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not among the idol worshippers. He's among the believing people on earth. He's among those that will send people. Then why do you reject? But why do you have to reject the truth that comes from your Lord? Someone. Someone. May Allah guide us aright. 
You must have to sit up before our time. This life is temporal. Everything we are doing on earth is temporal. Wallahi, there is no single thing on earth that is, going, is not going to be vanished. Allah that created the heaven and earth told us that this world and what it contains, they are going to be vanished. In many places in the Quran. Allah said, Kulli shayfan. Everything on earth is going to be vanished. Is it mansions? Is it beautiful cars? Even the human beings that build those things, Allah said they are going. They are going to live. They are going to live. And at times you see some people, they are going jejetically until they go finally. Somebody is sick, they take him to hospital. We have seen it. We thought that he's going to come back. Every day his case will be getting worse. They say, How is his health now? They say, oh, Thank God. Though. They say, His face today is, is, is not like yesterday. They say, Yeah. They'll go to this mala. They'll go to that mala. They'll go to this mala. They'll go to that mala. Some will even jump their religion to go to another place. Say, They want to go and meet pastor. Sorry for your life. Any Muslim that go to a pastor to go and receive prayer, you are betraying Allah and you are going to face the consequence on the day of Kiyama. Because the amount and the trust Allah gives to you in Islam, in the Quran, you are betrayed. How can you be a Muslim? What exactly do you want that is not in Islam? Many pastors, many, many Christians are accepting Islam because of the truth they are saying. Go to media, go to online and see what is going on. Even the pastors and the Christians, they know that Muslims is the right way. They respect Muslims. In the office anywhere we go see some Christians, some good Christians. They don't hide the truth. They are happy with you because they are good people as well. Christians are good people. Because they are good, when they see, they like what is true. When they see the truth, they will follow it. It's in Islam we see bad people. In Islam. See some bad people. How can you be a Muslim? Allah said, Ya ayu alladina amanu. You that have taken, you know, my faith. That you are believing in me. That you are among those that believe in me. Allah said, enter Islam from your head to toe. Completely. Kafatan. According to the Lugatul Arabia, what that Lugat Kafa means is something that is fitted, that is befitted, something that is complete, something that has no trace of reduction, something that is completely fixed in. Key in. And there's no trace of error. That is what we call kafir. Allah said, the of Islam kafir and enter Islam completely with your heart, with everything wholeheartedly. Allah said, enter Islam like that. Because everything you need in Islam throughout your life, Allah said, is in Islam. There's so single things Allah said, we oh, forgot that we have not kept for you. And if you want to know all those things, Allah says you have to begin with his knowledge. First, learn Allah's knowledge first. So that shaitan will not rule your life. Allah says, Wala tatabi khutuwati shaitan. Don't regret to follow the ways of shaitan. Don't regret to follow another way. Today, masjid is empty, mosque is empty. But if you go to other places like, you know, where people are looking for money, market and other places, people will live as early as possible to go and worship money. Somebody who has not prayed to God in the morning. And you say, God is not helping you. You have to first, first of all help yourself. Helping yourself will now determine how Allah is going to help you. 
Because you need shortcut way of life. You want God to build an automatic house for you. To give you automatic car. Automatic money. That is why you have to digress. You jump. You say, I want to go and meet so this person. You want to go and so that Baba. You have to go and do something. Then you go and consult. Then you get something that you put under your bed. That you are speaking to. You have to do this. Subhanallah. Why do you have to choose this way? When you and I were going to die, and we are going to account everything in the front of our Creator, of Allah Taqinu, don't you have sense? Allah is asking you. Allah said, Wakunu kolan sedira. Speak what is correct. Do what is correct. Engage yourself in what is good. Allah said, Wallah, if we're able to do that as a, as a believer, as a Muslim. Allah said, Yusrilakum amalakum. Allah said, He's going to perfect our work for us. He's going to purify our good deeds for us. Our fasting. Our zakah. Commission them. Our salawat. Our ibadah. Going to hajj, umrah, or other things. Our reading of the, from the Quran, Quran, Allah says He's going to accept it and accept it and perfect it for us. Yusli lakum amalakum. Yusli lakum amalakum. Allah yusli lana amalana. Allah is going to perfect our good deeds for us. That is the promise of your Creator in the Quran. And not only that, wa yafir lakum zunubakum. Allah yafir lana zunubana. Allah says he's going to forgive your sin for you. Your minor sins. Minor sins that you have created, committed. Allah says he's going to wipe it for you because it's not deliberate. But the one that is deliberate, Allah says you should repent. But by the time you refuse, refuse to what? To repent. Then Allah says, Allah said, We are going to punish you with a great punishment. Allah said, We are going to put you in hellfire and you'll be there forever. We have done the good work. Allah says he's going to perfect the work and he's going to reward him with Jannah. And this paradise, let me tell you, if you don't know the paradise they are talking about. It has been stated that Al Jannatul Haqqa, the paradise is real. Takunu fi sema. Allah said this paradise is not on the earth, neither is in the earth. Allah said, we designed the paradise in the heaven. Confirm. Sabaatu Uliya. Seventh heaven. Allah mentioned it. Sabaatu Uliya. Seventh heaven. That is where the paradise is. Women da kalafia. La yamutu abada. Allah said, whoever have come to that place, whoever will have granted the paradise, he will never die forever. Anything that is they will even kill the dead too. Quiet. They will show you, you people of the hellfire and people of the paradise. They will bring, they say, what is this? They say, this is death. Allah will not take the life of the dead. They say, issue of death has closed forever. If you are in paradise, Allah said, the paradise is forever. In Jannah, any food you think that you want to eat, you see the food in your front immediately. Any kind or any variety of food, food or fruit you want to eat, as you think about it, you not even mention it. You see them coming. They will come in different shape, and they will say salam to you. The food will say salam to you, peace unto you, salam alik. Anta turinu anta kuleni. Do you want to eat me? When you say naam, the food will say bismillah. Eat me in the name of Allah. This word you say bismillah before you eat food, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Salam alaikum. Mm -hmm. This word is want to eat food. What do you say? Say bismillah in the name of Allah. 
Isn't it? Even Christian, if they want to eat food, they said, in the name of Allah, in the name of God, we are starting this, this food. Isn't it? Will you say in the name of devil? On the day of judgment in the paradise, you will not say that again. The food will be the one to say to you, eat me in the name of Allah, because that time is the time of enjoyment. But you have to work for Jannah from this world. Don't involve yourself in evil because you don't know when you are going to die. Some of your neighbors have died. Is it not a warning to you? Even some people, they don't think that they are going to die. They will be wishing people to die. May God kill my enemy. Are you the one that created your enemy? Any enemy that says, I will not live long, you will not live long. And you, you think you are a good believer. Any enemy that is around, that is doing this, that is burying this, that is burying that, may God kill him. And you think yourself you are, you are a servant of God. You are a servant of devil. Because there's no single place God has said that you should pray bad prayer for your, for your neighbor. That you should pray bad prayer for your enemy. You pray that may God deliver your enemy from his attitude. That is what God said. Even all the prophets of God, no single of them have ever prayed bad prayer to their enemy. What they do is to pray for their enemy and encourage their enemy to leave that attitude because it's, it's devil that have roped him. Whatever your enemy is doing, you know, it's not intentional. It's devil. Devil have already given him water he have drank. Devil already have fed him with his food. So that is the food and the water of the devil that, is, that have intoxicated Prosecuted his heart that make him to misbehave that. So that when he's misbehaving to you, you will be able to, you know, to hate him and you commit sin against Allah. How can a human being pray for a human being to die? Does it make sense? What kind of servant of God are you? Praying for your neighbor to die? Wish your neighbor to die? Praying for even somebody that is, is, is against you to die? Why? Where is your faith? Why are you a servant, of, a servant of God? You must pray to God to change the life of your enemy for better. When you confront your enemy, tell him the truth. Greet him. Then answer you or not, it's less for him. But you have done the work of God. You have what salam means, what greeting means is that I don't have you in mind. That is the interpretation of greeting. When you greet somebody, you are telling the person as what? I don't have you in mind. I don't have any evil plan against you. So if the person like, let him go and have it against you. It's between him and God. Because you have already saved yourself from, from him. That is what they say. Salam, go and eat salam. May God help us. If you are among those that used to pray for your neighbor to die, repent before your time. Because that is composing. That is inevitable. I have seen when somebody was, you know, he was taking care of a patient in the hospital, a patient that is in a critical condition. He sat down, relaxing. He just slumped and he died. Nothing happened to him, he slumped and died. But that patient recovered and was discharged. As I'm telling you, the patient is still alive. So who are you to go? Who are you? You must always look for God's mercy. Because this world is not our house. It's like when you go to market to do business, is that your house? When the market finishes, won't you come back to your house? We are in this world to transact for the business that will grant, that will grant us gender, paradise. Do what is good. Speak what is good. As I'm telling you today, you hear me tomorrow, you say, ah, that man that used to preach to us, hey, he has gone. Some people will say better. Uh -uh. Noise, noise all the time. Not allow a person to hear what. Some will say, hey, uh, at least we used to learn one or two things from his words. Because whatever he tells us, he quotes from the Quran. He tells us the history of the prophet. Hey, uh, maybe if there are good people, they say, may God have mercy on his soul. Some will say, Tom, I cannot pray for him. Because I'm happy. Every day, preaching, preaching, preaching. Ah, about me, he don't even come down. Sir. Why? Because they are the agent of devil. The agent of devil will never want to hear words of God. 
But he, he liked words of devil. Somebody can stand talking about irrelevant things, useless things, for almost an hour, two hours, three hours, you will be tired. Bring a word of God in the midst after he has spent one hour. In the next five minutes, he will tell you, say, sorry, I, I, I remember that I want to go to somewhere. Sorry, okay, I have something to do at home because he knows that what you are going to tell him is going to change him from the way of devil to the way of God Almighty. Devil will tell him, hey, this topic don't change, you have to leave home. God said, Allah ta'abu shaitan, you are the amal. You, the believers, so among the mankind, you, the mankind, don't worship the devil. Because devil is your enemy. It's your physical enemy. It's your open enemy. God said, beware of him. Run away from him. Okay? Allah said, come and worship me. Come and serve me in the mosque. Pray for me. Pray to me. I'm there for you because I'm the one that created you. I'm the one that is feeding you, not devil. Believe in me, believe in my words, and your life will be prospered. Your Lord is talking to you. This is the right part. In the Quran, in Surah Yasir. Allah is telling you this. Then what do you want? What do you want to be satisfied on earth? That you continue to choose the way of devil? Is it because you have money? Is it because you have built a house? Is it because you have cars? People that have what is more than that, that refuse to believe in God, Allah them demise them. Fadam them alayhim, Rabbuhum, bizam bihim. Allah destroy them. Their Lord destroy them with their sin, with their evil. Fadam them alayhim, Rabbuhum, bizam bihim. Allah arrest them. With their attitude. At the time they never remember, they, they, they never think that Allah is going to deal with them. That is when God Almighty dealt with them. Allah leave them, they continue enjoying. They enjoying. After they have made money, they are now settled down. They look at their right and left. They see everything that they have, they have everything. As they all come to settle finally, Allah what Allah take their life by giving them some sickness, by giving them some problems. And that led to their, their death. Allah said, Aina Fir'auna, where is Pharaoh? Aina Karuna, where is Pharaoh? Kulu Humutu, Allah said, all of them, I dem demise them. Why? Because of the higher degree of their own, of their degradation. They frustrated many people on earth. Many people were educated under their, their what their administration, and God dealt with them, and their case has been closed for a number of years. These are people that can carry you like mosquito in their hand. If Allah can deal with them, what are you? What are you? If you hear the story of these people, it's like you should open a stone and bury yourself alive. Not even open the earth. Open a stone and bury a life if it's possible. Because these people, they use hand to break rock. And they build their house in rock. They create their road in the middle of the rock. They build story building that this old ancient building, you will be imagined. They are very good architects. Nobody can get the quality of the building that they build. Again, or you both try. 9-11 that they built, what happened? It was destroyed. They tried many things. God destroyed. Because that time has gone. That type of people are no longer there. Except you in some country. Allah give you an example. Some people are very tall. Go to Mecca and Sonaco. This is tall person. They can join three of you before you can become one person. See Arab like this, very tall. If you are standing by him, it's as if you are standing by, by, by a tree. That is to show you Allah is giving you the example of those people in the past. How they were. 
This house we are staying just like a kitchen where they keep their goat. The house we are staying today, their own goats, that is where they keep their, it's like a kitchen or a store where they keep their things. They cannot sleep in it because it will not contain them. If they want to put their, their head in it, it will, they will be hitting the ceiling and it will, it will, it will bust up. May Allah guide and protect us. Allah said, by the time we are able to fear him and we are able to come to him, we are able to go to mosque and pray, we are able to go to Juma and pray, we are able to go to the front of Eid and pray, we are able to give us zakah, we are able to fast, we are able to do all what Allah has enjoined on us as a Muslim. Allah said, you perfect those acts for us, then he will forgive our shortcomings. And I said, when you take Allah or Rasulah, Listen, woman, you take Allah or Rasulah, whoever believe in Allah, whoever follow the ways of Allah and His Messenger, Allah, your Lord is talking to you, please. Please be attentive. Woman, you take Allah or Rasulah, whoever follow is the ways of Allah, whoever come to Allah, whoever believe in Allah through His Prophet. Fakad Father Fawdan Abima. Allah said, He have attained a great position in this world and hereafter. That is why Allah is telling you that the paradise is real. Allah said, He designed it in the seventh heaven. Whoever have come there, he will never die forever. Likewise, Allah said, Anar al Haqqa. The hellfire is also real. Be careful. Hellfire is what? Jama, real. But be careful. So that you don't enter it. Allah said, Takunu fil art. We design that hellfire in the art. Which, which, which layer of the art? Is it the first layer? No. Seven art is so full. Of. The seven art. Women that call fear, whoever come there, lie and to fear or lie. Whoever come there will never die, neither he will be alive. He will be in between of life and death. You want to die, could not die, and you want to live, could not live. La hawla wa la quwwata illa bina. May Allah save us from the hellfire. May we not do the work that will take us to hellfire. May we do the work that God has enjoined on us that will grant us paradise. Why heart of human being is so difficult that I cannot come back to his law? It is very painful. You are alive. You are killing yourself jejetically, psychologically, until you see yourself dying without believing in God. Very painful. And those are not Muslims. They are accepting Islam. They are studying Islam. You see them understanding Islam until they will die and enter paradise. Where is your Iman? May Allah help us. May Allah help us. May Allah guide us aright. May Allah take us away from evil. It will not help us. Because hereafter, Subhanallah. Then I said, This Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is always disturbing us in this Mecca. Eh? They will not say, Oh, our people. Hallelujah, Have we not informed you about a, a man that is Muhammad they are described? The one who called himself the prophet of God, walking on the street in Mecca. They used to say, Iza muziktum kulla mumazakin in nafi kharikin jani. That he used to say one kind, you know, statement like that. That after we have enjoyed, everybody have enjoyed, you have built us, you have done everything, whatever you want to enjoy on earth, and you die, that you're supposed to go on and rest. Do you call it rest? Oh, it's okay. Then you now say that uh, God is still going to bring us back again. How is it possible? After we have gone to the earth, they have buried us, you know, our bone, everything, our particles have, you know, dissolved to the ground. You now say that God, how is it possible? Some say, don't mind him. After all, Allah like Kaliba. 
Whether he is lying to God. How can God resurrect somebody again after somebody has died? After the enjoyment of the world and of this world? After all, Allah like Kediba. He is lying unto God. I'm being in now. Or maybe he's having, maybe he's having a, a what called? He's having, a, 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 a thinking of senseless. What he's thinking, maybe it's senseless. Or he's having mental problem. You know, they're starting the process of, of Allah. God bring it in the Quran. For you to know how difficult human being is to deal with. Prophet of God. They said he's lying. And they say maybe he's having mental problem. After all, Allah lied, Kaziba and Bihi Jinnah. Bal, Allah said, Kai. Lilladin alayuk min nabil akra, those that not believe in the hereafter. Wallahum adabun muhim. Allah said, there will be the dwell of the punishment of the hellfire for the day of Kiyama. That bell, Allah said, Kai, this is too bad. The prophet that I sent to you people to save you, to help you to Jannah, to paradise, you said is a liar. That is lying. And also said that he's having a mental problem. The same thing happened to him today. A Muslim doesn't fear God. He look at Malams. He listen to their words. He will be insulting them, gossiping against them. Allah is making the same parable to us. That what people in the past, people before you, healthy and stronger than you, Allah demolished them, Allah destroyed them because of their evil statement against the Prophet. Say, so after all, Allah like this man. Now, so that they lie, don't mind them. All these man, and you follow them. You follow them, no, you savvy. Or maybe this character don't enter their brain, self, now make them they talk anyhow. They talk Prophet like this. If they can tell Prophet like this, then. You now know today what people are saying today because human beings don't want to learn. If human beings want to learn, mean there's money in that thing that is learning. If there's no money, forget about it. Anytime you see human beings desperate to learn some a particular something, hard working, maybe creative, want to learn design, want to learn this, want to learn that, want to learn it, want to learn that. There is money in that thing, but. Come to the knowledge of Allah because knowledge of Allah will not give you money now. No, know that knowledge is part of your life that can even make you to learn the right thing in this world and grant you gender. So, this is what people in the past said to our Prophet Muhammad. Then today, you know, imagine what people are saying today, and people are following them. The worst of all is that those in the past that say this against Prophet. We're not even a Muslim. But today, Muslims say what is more than that to the Malams. To the scholars of Islam, the leaders of Islam. Somebody could not have time to learn the ways of God, but he have time to correct people that have the, that, that learn the ways of God. He doesn't have time to ask them questions. But those that are not relevant, he can go and meet with them and discuss with them extensively all things that they are discussing. Will never give them any single blessing. Rather, it will make them to be humiliated by Allah. And they enjoy doing that. Somebody cannot go to pray to Allah, but he can wake up in the morning and go and mingle with people and be discussing. He will leave one community to another community to discuss about the religion of Almighty negatively. Discuss about those that propagate the deen of Islam. Making just of them, hating them, saying all sorts of things about them. And a community can never be united without the ways of God. Any community that hates the ways of God, that community will not be prospered. The prosperity will not be defined in that community where he has the land. Because we have seen many communities, God talk about them in the Quran. Different, different clans. How Allah dealt with them because they hate the words of God. So, may we not be part of those communities. May we be among the communities that love the words of God, that believe in God, that welcome the ideology that comes from God. Because God is the one giving us food to eat. The Gari you used to make about who created this for you? 
The okra that you cook, who gave it to you? The fire that the, the fire will you get in using what to, to carry fire? Who dry it for you? Allah make a statement to all that. There is no single thing God, even down to firewood, God makes statement about it in the Quran. Let me bring the verse for you. So that you know how wonderful and great your creator is. He said, Don't you see the fire that you can do? The firewood you gather to cook to, to, to cook food. Allah said, Don't you see the way you put the fire that it catches? Allah is drawing attention to something, something very important that will make you to know him more. Are you the one that makes the fire to catch it? Or is the one? Allah. Take me. Take me. Your Lord, he's telling you something wonderful. The fire, the fire will you keep and put fire in it to cook food and enjoy yourself. Are you the one that allowed the fire to catch it? Or oh, we are the one? The question. Answer it. <laughs> Allah Akbar. Your Lord is wonderful. Come back to him. Love him. Believe in him. Your life will be unique. Your life will be successful, inshallah. I will stop here uh, because the end of the road will never be the end of discussion. Okay? So the journey continues. All discussion shall continue. So some other time. Jazakum Allah Haram. May Allah reward you for your listening. Thank you very much. May Allah reward you abundantly. May Allah bless us. May Allah forgive us our sins. Our enemy. May Allah make them to repent. Anybody that have enemy, may God make his enemy to repent and come back to him. Because we must be together. There must be unity in our midst. And if there is no law, peace will never be established. Peace can never, can never be established without war, without love. And when the, when the love is there, peace will be established. When there is peace, there will be what? Unity. Allah Akbar. And that's what God said in the Quran. So let, let love to forgive each other. Forgive. Don't retaliate. Don't pay evil with evil. No. Pay evil with kindness. Humble yourself. Humility. Pay evil with love. With care. Pray for your enemy in his absentia. Your enemy is not seeing you, but you are praying good for him. Wish him well. Don't wish him bad. So that God can change him, you become a better person. Through your enemy, you can get paradise. Through your enemy. By the time your prayer work for your enemy and God change his life for better. If you become a better person, if he's going to Jannah, he's going to paradise, you will grow. Allah Akbar. Can see how the word of God is good to hear. For those who have ear. For those who have good listening ear. For those who believe. And for those who are administering to their life. Ya Rabb. Ya Rabb. Ya Ilahana. Nas'aluka an ya fizna min sharru shaitanu rajim. Wa nas'aluka an yu bayinna min fitnatil maya wal mama. Wa min fitnatil masih dajjah. Ya Zal Jalal wal Kram. Salimna min kulli fazi wal hudni. Wal hammi wal gommi. Wal durri wal sharri. Wal fakar wal marat. Wa min kulli di sharru. أم جاب السبب دون ولا أكل برحمة كرمه يا قادم الإنسان إنسانك القديم يا دائم يا قائم يا قائم يا كريم حزبنا الله ونيم الوكيل ونيم المرأة ونيم النصير يا رب لك الحمد أنت كيم السماوات ولا دم فيه ولك الحمد لك ملك السماوات ولا دم فيه ولك الحمد أنت ملك السماوات ولا دم فيه ولك الحمد أنت الحق وارك الحق والكونك الحق والقائك الحق وجنة الحق ونار الحق ونبينا الحق ومحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم حق لك أسلمنا يا الله وبك آمنا وعليك توقلنا وبك قسمنا فغفر لنا ما قدمنا وما آخرنا وما أسرنا وما آلنا وما أنت أعلم به منا أنت المقدم وأنت الآخر لا إله إلا أنت أنت إلهنا سبحان ربك رب العزة ما سكر والسلام على المسلمين الحمد لله رب العالمين. Thank you very much. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. السلام عليكم.